We have not received any data or specific evidence from the US government relating to the purported origin of the virus. We have not received any data or specific evidence from the US government relating to the purported origin of the virus. So uh, 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 from our perspective, th this remains speculative, and, uh, and, but any, like any evidence-based organization, we would be very uh, willing to receive any information that purports to the origin of the virus, because as Maria said, the origin of the virus is a very important piece of public health information for future control. So uh, if that data and evidence is available, then it will be for the United States government to decide whether and when it can be shared. But it's difficult for WHO to operate <clears throat> in an information vacuum in that specific regard. So we focus on what we know, we focus on the evidence we have, and the evidence we have from the sequencing uh, and from all that we have been advised is the, 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 the virus itself is of natural origin uh, and we need to understand more about that natural origin and particularly about intermediate hosts. Uh, this issue was uh, an, one of the recommendations of the Emergency Committee on 30th of January. It was subsequently repeated in the advice the other day. The Director General, when he visited China uh, with, uh, when I was there with him, raised the issue at the, at the highest level. Not as a specific issue, but we've been saying this since the beginning. We have to control this outbreak, and this is the most important thing we have to do. But we have to also understand the origin so that we can uh, put in place the right public health and animal-human interface policies that will prevent this happening again. This is not unique. We have done the same in the Middle East with MERS. We have done the same with Ebola in Africa. Understanding the host uh, animal, understanding the intermediate species, and understanding how to protect human beings in that cycle is exceptionally important.